Yes, Rasitram and I have seen him as well. I know how to revert him to his original size. We need to put the medicine into his mouth and he'll get back to his size. But how are we going to put the medicine in his mouth? I have 20 years of experience in giving medicines. Simply, you two go with Inspector Chingham in Dr. Jatka's flying car and put the medicine in his mouth. Easy. No, no, no. I won't go. Motu! The destiny and reputation of the whole town lies in your hands. Never say no. Never, 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 never. You want to attack me while you're flying with this yellow mosquito? You know what? I can crush you all now. Run! Save your life! Ah, my foot is stuck! My mama, help! Help! Someone please help me free Motu's foot! My mama, help! 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 <laughs> Inspector Chingam, John has robbed all the banks in town. Inspector Chingam, Inspector Chingam, uh, he has robbed all the jewelry shops, all of them. <laughs> I will never let him go. I will never let him go. But till he becomes a small-sized man again, we cannot even arrest him like this. I don't even have a jail cell that big. No, 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 impossible! I've invented this powerful missile. We have to put the medicine into Joan's mouth directly and he will shrink to his original size immediately. I can't believe this. It will be very difficult to get aim exactly at his mouth. Someone will have to shoot this missile into John's mouth. But I wonder who will go. Huh? Huh? Motu and Patlu, there are two steel nuts on the top of this missile. You have to fasten them. They both are very brave. You know, they have taken the missile to put it into Joan's mouth.